this speaker that you see here was my first oversized subwoofer speaker that measures from five inches wide, four feet high, and two feet deep. And the speaker inside of it is an 18, uh, it's an 18 inch low rider PV Black Riddle speaker. It's 800 watts at continuous power. The free air response is 25 hertz. But the bass can go down about 10 hertz or lower. It's got a lot of cubic feet inside the cabinet and it's it does shape the house. It's got three ports on the front and then in the back towards the right side of the cabinet about that in er that area this part here in the back it's got a port about almost five feet long with the cabinet I mean four feet four feet by I believe it's eight inches wide so this this ports in, in the front and ports in the back and this speaker puts on so much bottom in it 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 rumbles the house and and then I have another subwoofer you can't see it because I my keyboard's all in front of the cabinet it's got the same kind of speaker in it but it's only half the width so about to here but it's five feet tall and but it's got the same speaker on it and then on my next video I'm going to show you the power amps that I use to run these shelves on but over here uh, I believe the, it's, the cabinet is almost about the same size. Uh, this is my second subwoofer cabinet that I built, but it's a different style. That's that's got a Black Widow eighteen. Uh, it's called the low mass it it's two black widow speaker magnets stuck side by side the speakers almost twice the weight uh, the first one right here you seen was I had two four ohm 18 inch speakers but this one is 8 ohms and and I use a I use one QSC power amp to run the the two uh, low riders, but the low batch I I use a a QSC uh, I think it's called the 850, but I have it in bridge. Because it only puts out about 270 watts per channel, so I, I got a bridge, so it's putting out close to close to 600 watts, slightly under power, but they don't recommend to run over 700 watts. Not if you got some kind of low cut filter on it, but these two big cabins could it put out so much space uh, 
So I actually, actually got three subwoofers and it just subwoofers alone, it, 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 it rumbles the front room. Uh, I, I'm not kidding. Then I'm going to move the camera. I'm going to show you part of the speaker stack for the, my home theater. You can kind of see it. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise up the camera so you see part of the speaker stack. Okay, I think you can see most of it. And I got to tighten that. Okay, you can't see the Okay, against the wall, you, you see a tall base cabinet. That's a 15, uh, I'm not sure, I forget what it's called. Uh, but that's a 15 inch Black Widow speaker. One, it, it's, it's not quite as, as good as the low rider, but it's right next to it. I can't think what the model number is, but it can handle over 600 watts, continuous. And then the two small cabinets you see right on top of that base cabinet are two mid-range and high frequency cabinets I built. They they have it. They both have a shape. They both have an eight-inch eminence, eight-inch speaker. They call it a med woofer that handles 240 watts continuous power, uh, and all these speakers are high decibel rating. And then. Inside the mid cabinets are two horn drivers, two horn high frequency drivers. They they have a um, a, tw a PB twenty two ST horn driver with a, a eminence three way crossover mounted in both cabinets. like a 400 watt crossover maybe even higher and then then the top horn you see that's got carpet those are some old sound tacks that I bought about 30 some years ago they have electric voice high frequency driver with a passive crossover just like I have in a in the three-way but it's only made for for high frequency and I got these all hooked up to one channel on my PV uh, GPS power amp but if, if you see right next to the on the right side uh, of the base cabinet of the stack of speakers you see like a, a white board there's another speaker cabin right there with the same kind of 15 because I'm running down the four ohms and I got the same stack of speakers on for the other channel and let me tell you they put put on some good volume when you play music or playing the home theater so that's my that's the speakers I use just for everyday playing music or if I want to check recording see if I'm doing recording I, I could tell how much low buildup I have on the bottom uh, of the music you know low frequency 
So that's my uh, speaker stack for my main part of my stereo.